Hello and welcome to the chapter on file handling. This is the part 10 of this particular chapter and in this session we are going to discuss about the append operation in a binary file. So this is the syllabus and out of the syllabus we are going to discuss the highlighted topic that is the append operation in a binary file. So let's begin with the concept of append. So normally what happens when we write data into a file then the data is written into the external file but if I run the program again then the previous data which was written onto the file gets erased with the new data. That means the previous data will not remain when we insert new data into the file. But appending is such a concept which refers to adding new information into a file without erasing the previous contents. So if I use the concept of append, there are certain file modes with the help of which we can do the append function. So with the help of this function, we can add new data into a file without erasing the previous contents. Now let us try to understand the difference between writing and appending. I have already said this, but let me discuss it formally. So the difference between writing and appending is that in case of writing, the previous contents are erased when new data is entered into the file but appending retains the previous data. So previous contents are erased if I use the W file mode but if I use the append file mode then what happens the previous contents are also retained. Now there are two file modes which are related to the append function in binary files. They are AB and a plus B or AB plus. Let's see what this file mode is all about. So first file mode related to the append function is AB file mode. So this file mode is used to write new data into an external binary file without erasing the previous contents. So without erasing the previous contents, if I want to write new data into an external file, then AB file mode can be used. Here, it's not required that you create the file from beforehand. If the file does not exist, then Python creates a new file automatically. You just need to specify any file name of your choice. It does, it's not necessary that that file mode should be present at the path. If it is present, it's fine. Even if it is not present, Python will create a new file automatically. This mode is used only for writing data into a fine binary file. With the help of AB file mode, you cannot read data from binary file. Only operation that can be done with the help of AB file mode is the operation of writing data into a binary file. Here I have written B with the alphabet A. B stands for binary files. Now we have another file mode which gives you enhanced uh, functionalities which is known as a b plus or a plus b file mode now with the help of this file mode you can perform all the three operations which are writing reading and appending but this sequence is to be maintained at first writing operation will be done followed by reading and then followed by appending now in this case also if the file does not exist Python creates a new file for you automatically. And if the file exists, its existing data is retained and new data is appended at the end of existing data, which is the basic concept of appending. The previous data is retained. Now, let's try to understand it with the help of a Python program. So I'll develop a Python program to show the concept of appending. So I'll just give a comment here to show the concept of appending data into a file. Now, in case of binary file, we require a module which is known as the pickle module. Now, let's create an empty dictionary by the name of STU. Okay. Now, in this empty dictionary, what we are going to do, we are going to receive roll number, name and marks of a particular student and we are going to append it, we are going to store it into the dictionary STU and many records will be 
an n number of records can be stored into this dictionary based on the input by the user okay so an empty dictionary is created by the name of stu now let's create a file object i can give any name to the file object let's give it as x x equals to open now give any file mo uh, file name i can give any file name like test append dot since this is a binary file the file extension would be dot dat comma now what we are going to do we are going to write data into a binary file but i also want to retain the previous contents so the file mode would be ab as discussed in our slides so now let's uh, create a loop for that let's create a variable by the name of ans and let's assign it as y now we'll take a loop here like while answer equals to equals to small y or answer equals to equals to capital y that means this loop will run till the variable answer is either small y or capital y it means at the end of the loop we will ask the user if the user wants to enter more records or not you'll get to know as we proceed through the program so let's give a message here like enter the following student details now here we are going to receive three things from the user one is roll number next is name and the third is marks so int input roll number is an integer so i'm taking here int input int input roll similarly name is a string so we'll be directly taking input function only let's receive the name from the user and here let's receive the marks marks can be in floating point so i'm taking here float marks you can take any data as per your choice now whatever data will be received in the variables role name and marks it is to be added to the dictionary we know that in dictionary we do not have the concept of indexing we have the concept of key is to value pairs so we will take three keys for receiving these three variables role name and marks so how to receive the how to store the data into corresponding keys let's see now what is the name of the dictionary the name of the dictionary is stu at first let's take the key to be role and in this key i'll be storing the value of role number then let's create another key by the name of name itself and in this key i'll be storing the value received in the variable name let's create our final key which is let's say marks and here we'll be receiving the data which is received in the variable marks after receiving this what we are going to do we are going to throw this data into the external file test underscore append dot dat so how to send data from python into an external binary file for that we have a function called dump function now dump function is within the pickle module so we have to call it in this manner pickle dot dump python object which is the dictionary here what is the name of the dictionary the name of the dictionary is stu comma the file object which is the file object x is the file object and stu is the python object this is as per the syntax of dump if you have forgotten about the dump function or if you don't know in details about the dump function you are requested to go through my earlier videos now what i'll do i'll ask the user if the user wants to enter more records or not here i have received only one record but i should give the user the facility to enter more than one records also if the user wants so i'll ask a question and that question's answer will be received in the variable ans now here i'll be asking do you want to add more records i'll just give a prompt here like yes or no and after that what i can do i can close the file by the close function now let me 
save it by any name let's say i'll save it by the name append dot binary name is up to you what name you would like to give you now let's run the program yes it is asking me to enter the following student details let's give roll number as one let's give name as alice and marks as let's say 99.2 here it is asking me that do you want to add more records so by now what has happened this data has been received and it has been entered into the external file test underscore append dot dat now it is asking me if i want to enter more records or not let's say i want to enter more records so what i'll do here i'll just press y so this particular loop will run again now let's give roll number two name let's give the name as bob and let's give marks as 54 so it is asking me again if I want to add more records or not, let's say I don't want to add any more records. So I'll press N. So the program has terminated. Now let me show you the content of this contents of this external file. The name of this external file is test underscore append dot DAT. So I've already said that it's not mandatory that this file must be present. If it is not present, it will automatically be created. So let's test whether it is created or not test underscore append uh, dot dat yes it is created so if i open this file see it is mostly in an unreadable format because it is a binary file okay but as you can see in binary file some parts are readable like name alice mark some marks are there like we can see that that file is created with uh, certain data now let's run the program again and see if the previous data is still present or not. Please remember the previous data are Alice and Bob. So let's run the program again. Enter the following student details. Let's give the roll number as 3. Let's give name as Raj and marks as let's say 66. Do you want to add more records? Let's say I'll press N. Okay, the program is terminated here. Now let's open that file again. Now here, if I may show you, I'll zoom it for you. You can see that role Alice, then we have role and Bob. Obviously all parts are not readable. Role, uh, sorry, name Raj. So what has happened here? The previous contents are not erased even if we write new data into the file. And that's exactly the work of the AB file mode of binary file. Now, what we are doing here for uh, extracting the data or for seeing the data, we are going to the external binary file. But it's not a very convenient method. The convenient method would be that if we can see the updated file through the Python program itself, then it's better. So what we'll do, we'll try to see the records entered by us through the Python program itself. So for that, let's create another file object. See, I have, create, uh, I have closed the previous file object here. So I'll open another file object and let's store it in the variable y. So y equals to, but I need to open the same file. Let's say the file is test underscore append dot dat comma now i want to read data from the file now for reading what is the file mode the file mode is rb okay now there was another function called load the load function what it does it brings the data from the external file which was in unreadable format and it makes it in a readable format it displays it in a readable format so let's take a variable let's say z and bring the data from the external file the load is a function within the pickle module so i have to call it like pickle dot load and after bringing the data the data should be stored in the variable z here now uh, the syntax was that here we need to pass the file object what is the new file object here it is y now the data we should ideally be stored in the variable z so let's display z by giving print z and after that let me close the file 
now let me run the program again so what it is showing me it is asking me to enter the student details let's say i give roll number as four uh, name as let's say anything ankita and marks as let's say 99 do you want to add more records let's say no but the data is displayed <coughs> but data of only one record is displayed here but why we want to view the data of all the records now why this problem is occurring this problem is occurring because load function can read only one data at a time and after reading the data it does not move to the next line automatically but how to do that for doing that we'll use the concept of exception handling along with the while loop so here i'll use a try block i hope you know the concepts of exception handling if you don't know you can go through my previous videos so i'll put a try block here within the try block i'll be putting a loop here while true now here true signifies that the program will try to read data till the end of the file is reached now when this loop will become false this loop will become false only when the end of the file is reached and when the end of the file is reached then the accept block will be executed now i hope that uh, it should be able to read the entire file now let me run this again and let's give roll number as let's say five and give any name let's say ragini and marks let's say 55 do you want to add more records let's say we don't want to add any more records i'll be pressing and here so as you can see now i am able to view the entire file like the data which was uh, written in the previous file runs are also there so what is the advantage of viewing it from python the advantage is that we need not open the external file separately which was in an unreadable format the load function what it did for us the load function bought the contents in readable format and displayed it in front of us and as you can see here the previous contents are not erased if i rerun the program here i have rerun the program this is not the same file run as you can see here restart 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 means the pro file is being the program is being rerun but even then the previous data are not erased even if i shut down my computer and run the program again these data which you are seeing in front of the screen will be retained here okay so that's all about the append function i hope that the concept is clear to you so till now from this chapter all these topics are covered let's meet again in the next session thank you very much